ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my adorable co-host Teddy, and today we're doing Speed Up Your PC Myths Busted, or uh, Speed Up Your PC Tips Actually Tested, or something else clickbaity like that. <laughs> because I just wanted to check this out, because I see this, um, people Google it obviously quite a bit, you know, how to speed up my PC, and I actually wanted to see, uh, do these actually work? So of course my test system, I can't use my rig because it's just way too powerful. I mean it's got a Threadripper in it, a 1950X and a GTX 1080 Ti. So that would just be way, way too powerful. So instead we're using my uh, girlfriend's personal laptop. This is an Asus Zenbook. It's a bit of an older one now. It's running the Intel i5-4210U, uh, which is a little dual core uh, CPU. It does have hyperthreading though and it has a turbo of 2.7 gigahertz. so definitely uh, not very powerful and uh, GPU wise it just runs a GTX 840M which also you know not very powerful there which makes it a perfect candidate for these tips because obviously the people looking this up uh, looking this up on Google wouldn't be running a very powerful system or else they wouldn't be looking it up. So to test this out I used uh, PC Mark 10. This is quite good because it tests uh, you know, casual stuff, browsing the web, doing all that uh, office work type things, you know, using Word, Excel, and uh, productivity. Also, you know, so editing and photo editing and things like that. Because maybe that's what you're doing, maybe on a laptop, uh, you're doing a bit of light editing, but you're just browsing the web mostly or doing Word documents. So I thought it would be very, very fair to test out using this. So the first one I wanted to test out is uh, high performance mode in terms of the power options. So this is one they obviously say, this is something most of you guys would probably already know about, and that is uh, to change your power plan to high performance from balance, which is the default. So when I did this in PC Mark 10, you can see compared to our baseline, it gave a pretty good increase there. That's like 9.3%. So that's actually very, very good. So you can see a good increase there when you switch from balance to high performance. I think this has a larger impact with uh, laptops, but it's still probably a good thing to do even if you're on a, a desktop PC, especially if you're running AMD CPUs uh, or download the Ryzen uh, power plan for it as well. That's another good thing you can do. Now let's move over to the second one, which is disabling the visual animations and things like that. So you can change this so it's in the best performance mode. Um, it'll just make Windows a lot less pretty, but they say this will uh, speed things up. So of course I did that and then we ran the PC Mark 10 test and you can see there's not much difference there. Anything 2% or less I, I tend to think is like within the margin of error territory. Um, so maybe you see a little bit increase there but that wouldn't even be really noticeable I don't think. So that one I think is a bit of a fail. The next one is disabling indexing. This one is... Yeah, it's kind of interesting, I suppose. Now, you do need to turn this off and then give it some time um, to sort of, you know, do its thing to disable. I, I can understand where the idea of this comes from, but yeah. So I ran the test and <laughs> sure enough, there was a very, very slight increase. Again, I would say that is within the margin of error here. Uh, yeah, I, I honestly, it's like 1.5%, so... Yeah, not, not really ideal. I would probably just leave it on. It'll also be frustrating if you ever go to search things up because it'll take a lot longer then. Next was turning game mode on. So I know we're not doing a game, but I thought, hey, maybe if you turn it on, uh, it might still help with casual things on your computer. So we did that, and you see the score here was quite interesting. That's a, you know, a somewhat of a decent increase there, 1.9%. I don't know, um, maybe that's good, maybe it's just within margin of error again, but I think that one is still a good one to leave on with uh, low powered systems anyway, and plenty of good YouTubers have gone through and tested it before, and it seems to be the most, it seems to be very beneficial on uh, more lower powered systems rather than higher powered systems. And then finally, the last one I wanted to check out was doing a registry cleanup. So a lot of people like buy these and I've never understood why. I honestly, I don't think they make any difference. And as you guys can see, after I did the registry cleanup, which it was a lot to clean up because I'd never done it on this laptop before, you still see it, it's, it's not, no difference. Honestly, no difference. So definitely stay away from them. They don't do, if it was that important, Microsoft would have included it in Windows. Put it that way. That's how I like to think of it. 
And then lastly, it's just a bit of a fun one. I uh, did all of it. You know, I said uh, the indexing off, game mode on, high performance, uh, the animations off. And this was after I had just run the uh, registry cleaner. And you see here, it goes up a bit, which shows that maybe some of those have an impact, but I'd say the largest one is definitely the power plant. Although overall, if you did all those, you would see around a 10% increase in performance. Again, I would say the vast majority of that increase is coming from switching the power plants and maybe a bit coming from uh, turning game mode on as well. So yeah, I would say those are basically the only two. If you're running a laptop, or a low powered system and you're looking for a way to speed it up, the only one I would really say is changing the power plan. That should give you a good increase there. Maybe turning game mode on as well, but these other ones, they just don't do anything, guys. So honestly, I wouldn't bother. Um, if you really want to go through and optimize Windows, you can check out Brian, a good friend of mine. He runs the channel Tech Yes City. He did a full guide on how to optimize Windows 10. I'll leave that in the description down below. Go over and check that out because it's a great, great video and that should uh, allow you to get the most out of your Windows 10 experience. So yeah, definitely check that out because I think that is much, much better than any of the stuff I've said here today, except maybe doing the power plan. Now I thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.